welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this fox. So this tutorial has a few parts. In this part I'm going to show you how to crochet the body and the tail of fox. And um, this fox has uh, movable uh, legs. So I will show you how to do it in next part. And I used this amazing cozy yarn called Softy Plus from Aliza Brand and I used 4.5 millimeters crochet hook. But in this video I will use chenille yarn and I will use 4 millimeters crochet hook. So it's up to you uh, what type of yarn you will use. And I hope you like my fox. If you do, put the thumbs up. I will be happy for it. And uh, that's all. I think we can go crochet. And what you'll need for this project? Two balls of orange color, one ball of white color, one ball of black color, some orange thin cotton yarn for sewing, and this, uh, this uh, chenille yarn. This color is amazing. I like it. It's something between orange and yellow. Okay, next what you will need is hollow fiber pair of scissors, stitch marker, safety eye button, safety nose button, uh, yarn needles and pins with a large hat. So first I'm gonna show you how to make the tail and start with white color of yarn and with magic ring and you have to start the first round with seven single crochets so i always make chain one and then six single crochets into the magic ring because i count the chain as single crochet so six single crochets in magic ring plus chain is seven single crochets in total and I'm using chenille yarn, um, dolphin baby, and four millimeters crochet hook. Tighten the magic ring, and now I have to join the round with a slip stitch. Count it from the right side. It's this sixth stitch where you have to make a slip stitch. It's in my case. Okay, in next round, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you will make uh, one more round of single crochets. So two rounds, in next two rounds, make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So at the end of the third round, you have to, uh, you have, to have uh, seven stitches. And we are working in a round, so it's good to know where is the beginning of each round. So use stitch marker. Uh, I'm using the tail as stitch marker. So now I know where is the beginning of the round. And now I have to make one more round of single crochet. So one single crochet goes uh, to each stitch around.
in the next round we have to increase and we are going to increase every stitch all the way around so make two single crochets in each stitch around and at the end of the round you will have 14 stitches now we will make one single crochet in each stitch around so it's round without changes at the end of the round you will have again 14 stitches in next round we have to increase again so i'm going to increase the first stitch make two single crochets in the first stitch in the next stitch make one single crochet and repeat it again so you have to increase every second stitch all the way around at the end of the round you will have 21 stitches okay now make two rounds of single crochets so make one single crochet in each stitch around and make two rounds in total at the end of the round you will have again 21 stitches okay now it's time for orange color uh, it's up to you how you will change the color i will change it with the simple way so i will start to make single crochet with white color and i will finish the single crochet with new color of yarn and then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make eight rounds in total and at the end of the round you need to have again 21 stitches from this round we have to decrease so i'm going to decrease now on the beginning and we will decrease twice in each round so decrease and then make eight single crochets Okay, and now in the middle of the round, you have to decrease again. So this is second decrease of the round. And then make one single crochet in next nine stitches. At the end of the previous round, you should have 19 stitches. And we are going to decrease always in each round on the beginning and in the middle of the round so you will have um, you will have two less stitches in each round so you have to make five more rounds with this system with this decreasing okay this is how it looks like now i have seven stitches uh, at the end of the last round at the end of the 23rd round and it depends up to you if you will stuff the tail with hollow fiber but use just little amount of hollow fiber and now we are at the end of the tail pattern so make a slip stitch and that's it then you have to sew all tails inside now let's make the body of fox so i'm going to use the orange color and start with the magic ring and i will make a chain one so i count this chain as single crochet so this is 
first single crochet and then I'm going to make eight single crochets into the magic ring. So start the first round with nine single crochets. Tighten the magic ring and join the round with a slip stitch if you are following me. I'm going to make a slip stitch in the first stitch, not in chain. Count it from the right side, it's eighth stitch. So this is the right stitch where you have to insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Okay, in next round, in uh, the second round you have to increase every stitch so make two single crochets in each stitch around at the end of the second round you should have 18 stitches In next round, we are going to increase every second stitch. So I'm going to increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch. So this is one and two single crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, make one single crochet and repeat it again. So Continue working two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around and at the end of the round you should have 27 stitches. Now we have to increase again, so I'm going to increase again the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch and then make one single crochet in the next two stitches. So in this round you have to increase every third stitch around and at the end of the round you should have 36 stitches. In next round make one single crochet in next 36 stitches. So at the end of this round you you need to have 36 stitches again. In next round we have to increase again. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch. This is one and two single crochets and now in the next three stitches make one single crochet so in this round you have to increase every fourth stitch all the way around so you can pause the video and meet me back at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should have 45 stitches Okay, now it's going to be a little easier because we have to make eight rounds of single crochets. So you will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make eight rounds in total. So at the end of the round, you need to have again 45 stitches. Now it's time for decrease. So decrease at the beginning i'm using again just front loops you can see uh, i use this loop this front loop grab the yarn pull it through both loops and finish 
the single crochet. So I have decreased once. Now make one single crochet in next nine stitches. Now decrease again, decrease just once. We are at the, uh, at the left side. And then make one single crochet in the next nine stitches. Now we are on the back side and we have to decrease again. So decrease once and then make one single crochet in the next nine stitches. Decrease again, we are on the, uh, on the right side. So decrease once. And then make one single crochet in the next eight stitches. Okay, I'm nearly at the end of the round. We have two stitches left and you have to decrease. And this, um, this part is belly part. So on the beginning of the round is belly part of the fox. So now at the end of this round, we have 40 stitches. And in next round, make one single crochet in next 40 stitches. Okay, now we have to decrease again and now decrease twice on the beginning. So this is first decrease and this is second decrease. Then make one single crochet in the next seven stitches. Now, on the left side, decrease once. So I'm using always just front loops. It's up to you if you will follow me or if you have your way, your favorite way how to decrease. Okay, now in the next seven stitches, make one single crochet.
On the back part, decrease once. And then make one single crochet in next seven stitches. Now we are on the right side and you have to decrease once. Then make one single crochet in next seven stitches. We have two stitches left again, so decrease. So last two, uh, last two stitches decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 34 stitches. In the next round, you will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So at the end of the round, you should have again 34 stitches. In next round we are going to start with decreasing so decrease twice this is first decrease and this is second decrease in the next five stitches make one single crochet And we are going to decrease on the right side and on the left side twice. So now decrease twice. So it's decrease by decrease. And then make one single crochet in next four stitches. On the back part, decrease once. And then you will make one single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, now we are on the right side of the body and we have to decrease twice. Then make one single crochet in next four stitches. One, two, three, and four single crochets. And in next two stitches, uh, you have to decrease. So decrease, and we are at the end of the round. At the end of this round, you should have 26 stitches. In the next round, make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, so you will make 26 single crochets.
Okay, in next round we will decrease again. So decrease on the beginning, but we will decrease uh, with different way than before. Uh, decrease. So this is one decrease. And then make one single crochet in next three stitches. And you will repeat it five times. So repeat this, um, this section uh, five times in total. Okay, we have one stitch left, so make one single crochet. At the end of this round, you should have 21 stitches. And in next two rounds, we will make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So make two rounds without change, two rounds of single crochets. At the end of the round make a slip stitch and start uh, next round with chain one and then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and this is last round and i'm making this because we we were uh, crocheting in a round and we want to have straight edge okay make a slip stitch and that's it we have 21 stitches uh, at the end of this last round then just uh, fill the body with hollow fiber um, sew all tails inside the body and that's all so i will look forward at the next part of this tutorial see you soon